Our little guy and I are back out having some fun. We're gonna go uh, to this Goodwill over here we found. We haven't been to this one ever together. Uh, I don't remember the last time I've went, so. Uh, he's having some fun though today. We're both having some fun, so. <laughs> Him and his big eyes. Uh, so Rob will hunt for some movies. Let's see what we can find. All right, yeah, I have to talk over the music again. They're always playing tunes in these stores now, nonstop. But these are the only Blu-rays that I had found. Nonstop DVD Disney, or I'm sorry, Blu-ray Disney that I'm finding everywhere. Now the Disney Plus has come out. Everybody's just turning in their old Blu-rays. I think Shaun of the Dead up there, as you briefly saw, was the only horror blue. But I already have it, so didn't need it today. As you can see here, it just kind of kept going through. Uh, more common, just DVDs. Nothing I didn't really have or didn't need. Kids pointing out common Shreks that we have also. Even on VHS Shrek, and he's still pointing out these ones. Um, that Edge of Darkness, though, to the right. Public Enemies. Uh, kind of just still common, but not as common for these types of stores. So they had some okay thrillers in here. I did find a Freddy vs. Jason, I want to say, in these racks or these shelves. I mean, somewhere in that part. But as I turned to the left, I almost left without looking over here. But I didn't need it because I also have this on blue. But don't see this usually either. Yeah, I wanted to say it was $10 more than it should have been now that it's been re-released. Um, there's a set at Walmart probably for like 30 bucks, I mean, like on blue. So like, why would you pay that? This one, too. My kid loves pointing out Batman DC. There's someone else on here uh, that loves her DC movies. If you're watching, you know who you are. <laughs> Alien. This is actually one that I did not have that my kid also saw that I saw. I'm like, oh, that cover art on this slip right here just... I don't know. All right. We're, on our, uh, we're at our next stop. We couldn't get much recording inside the store. We were in the mall. We're at, we're gonna go in the mall. Yeah, we're gonna go in the mall now, but the Goodwill had the music going like all stores in California do now. For some reason, they just like playing music. I mean, why not? You're bored sitting there, so might as well listen to some tunes. <laughs> but uh, you probably saw, I'm gonna do probably some voiceover on some of the clips, but the only thing they had in there that I wanted was that Aliens, uh, I haven't, I mean, it's just DVD, but I don't have this edition, and it's, I mean, it's dope looking. I'll show it later, but Dad, just I for thought, perfect. I thought you had all the aliens. Well, I have all the movies, but not this particular edition. And for some reason, <laughs> I, I grab movies multiple ways, and I don't know. This one looked great. Uh, the disc were, I guess, it perfect, pristine, no scratches, all the pieces, all the inserts. Never seen this particular collector's edition. All I'll have the to look up this I lineup. Found had so, scratches. so it's number 11, so there must be obviously other 10 before it, and who knows how many after. All the so. movies I found had scratches. All the movies, yes. He grabbed scratch ones. See, he's unlucky today so far. We're on the hunt though for some NECA again, so I'm hoping I can find what I'm looking for. I don't want to spoil it, but I'll show you if I find but it. But Dad, you did. I did find that one thing that we went to that store and I found a good find of yours. That one thing with the good find, he like, you know, he always finds those. Not today so far, though. So we'll see what we find the next buy here. All right. Stay tuned. Bob Ross. Anyways, yeah, more music again playing. Um, we, my kid found this awesome little end cap here with novelty, what, drinks. Like the Ecto Cooler. Uh, this 88 miles per hour was like a Red Bull or something basically you know garbage pile and dragon ball z nothing i needed but looks cool anyways cherry bomb some gigantic chocolate um garbage pile bowl i mean taffy you know your jaws taffy <laughs> from hamityville but just more random again just put a name on it charge more this is where we found some cool little things these candies were new uh these little tins haven't seen these before, so we were taking a look. Kid loves candy, so first thing he saw, of course. The whole table, though, still had a lot of the same stuff I've seen before. Did not have what I wanted. 
he has two of these, three of these blankets, so he's always pointing them out to. Eh, cool little mug, but again, nothing special. A lot of it, a lot of just same stuff. Nothing, nothing new. Like this. Probably if you go back, I've seen it or it's been showing it now for over a month. It's going to sit there too at that price <laughs> since Target just had it for 100 bucks. Uh, don't need this, don't need that. This though, I'm kicking myself still in the nuts over. Uh, I put it back, what, six, seven months ago at $50. Now it sits here for 129 Actually, it just came back in the store. Great little set. I mean, a novel, Blu-ray, lobby cards. I mean, you get all that there on the back, but not for $130. Uh, kid finds the good stuff. We don't have any of these. Um, I think these are the, what, Super 7s? I just can't justify paying $20 for these little toys when I get full-size NECA figures for, like, the same price or just a little bit more, you know? It's like, these are so overpriced. These should be, like, 9 or twelve ninety nine, nine nineteen. Um, But you can see they have a wall of them, and there's tons of different variety. So almost anything you collect, you'll find. I love the Toxic Avenger. Uh, we looked at all the different aliens, though. He wanted me to get, like, all of them you know, $20 a piece. I was like, yeah, I don't think so. Okay. We're back home. Uh, it was a quick two store, two we, store trip. Yeah. We only went to the mall and Goodwill. Goodwill. We were going to go to Walmart, but were, but uh, uh, he got tired and bored like usual. Um, you can only take him out so much the little guy. Burns out fast, so. I do take him, I, I did go to a lot of places. A lot, a lot of places time, in but. his brain. But he found himself some candy. These, uh. That, that's his, and, and the one I was one is mine. Oh, well. I guess they'll be both mine. The tins. No! The candy's gonna be his. These, uh, Sour Slasher gummy knives. They're actually knives. They're not gummy. They're oh. Not gum. They're just sour. They're what like, are they? They're hard. Hard? But they're not sour, you suck not on them. Not sour, you suck on them. So. <laughs> yeah. These little candies. Cool little tins, though. I like it. A little Chucky head and Myers mask. So, something to grab by around. And this particular Aliens edition that I did not have. Uh, it's like five. The artwork on it, I mean, it's nice uh, for a DVD. I mean, it has... It has uh, all the pieces. It has all the inserts. Dad, two discs. This the so. case. The case is not that good. It is a scratch. Right oh, here. actually, good notice. See this right here? I was rubbing off the uh, sticker, talking to my mom or daughter, or son, somebody. Didn't even notice. Went too far. Too far with the scrub. So, did that right there myself. But it happens to me. But now I'm finally beginning. Whatever. To yeah, I'll now live. I'm finally beginning to peel them off slowly. He then. peels them slowly, and that one he doesn't realize was residue from 1998. <laughs> I mean, it's been on there forever. But uh, we got this used. Uh, what was this called again? We are still here. Dad, Nothing this about... isn't used. This is still in the package. Right well, there. what I mean is, it's used wrapped. I mean, no one's ever uh, opened watched it. it, opened it, but it's still new used. <laughs> Cheap. It's like five bucks. Uh, this one actually has the sticker. As you can see, new guaranteed use. This Wait, was like a me, DVD. I only grabbed oh. Into the Grizzly Maze here. Uh, nothing about, only because of the cast. Yeah. Billy Bob, I, I mean, I Thomas Jane. Who else did it have in it? I don't remember. Oh yeah, the uh, Marsden. Marsden guy right there in the front. But I don't know, look cool with the beer, grizzly beer. <laughs> Uh, been meaning to watch this. Happy Time Murders. Finally came down to a good, cheap price. Uh, I always have loved a couple of the crossover movies like this. Like, what was it? The uh, Happy the Splits, the Splits Times movie? or I can't even think right now. It's been such a long day in this 100 degree heat. Um, but My the Banana Splits. Goes. Dong. Banana Splits movie. Uh, oh, I love that movie. And then that recent one with Nicholas... Cage, I love that movie. Willy's Wonderland. So anytime they got like... I love those movies. Right? Puppets and animatronics and 
just stupid. This one's not up that particular alley. Uh, a <laughs> little different, more of the comedy slash uh, Melissa McCartney uh, role. This is so, so weird comedy this, more this, than horror. These puppet, these puppets look like they're from like um, Elmo Street, whatever it's called. Elmo, you mean Sesame Street? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably more Sesame Street than anything. Yeah. Uh, this was like in the sock still. The unrated three pack for wedding Wait, is that a part real one and sock? two of American Pie. Is that a real yeah, sock? Yeah, if you once you watch American Pie, buddy, when you get older, you'll know what the socks all about. That's actually uh, Jim's a real sock. sock? Wow. Yeah, it's a cover for Can the movie. Can you wear it? You wear it in a different way. <laughs> well, we'll talk when you're older. But, anyways, <laughs> um, American Pie could resist brand new sealed Blu ray of all three of them rated. For a second, Five I thought, bucks. For a second, I thought it looked like those wristband things. And this I didn't have. I only grabbed because I just recently got the steel book of the Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, don't even have this movie on any particular format Blu ray, aged uh, 4K, DVD, nothing. So yeah, I was like, why gosh. Didn't why didn't you also get the Japanese version? The ja well, he's talking about there's a steelbook of, I want to say it's Godzilla versus Mothra <clears throat> or King Kong. King Kong, the old original. Yeah, they have that on steelbook, steelbook as well. It wasn't on sale. This was just random by itself in the back, just sitting there with the other movies. It wasn't where the other steelbooks were. Of them that I think I might have shown in an earlier part of the video. Of them, you had a lot of them that have like the. Just wrapping on them, so right. But I don't like about how like it's all punctured a little bit and stuff. Well, same, that's what happens with movies. Same goes with but in any case, the wrapping is on most of these, as he's pointing out. Same goes <laughs> Which with I the like. grizzly bear. But the today's haul just okay, you know. Well, um, uh, actually, I didn't get anything down, lucky. So. I didn't get anything lucky. Yeah, he wasn't the luckiest today. I mean, I these were all on anything. sale, used, cheap. Uh, but the I candy didn't, tins were new. Never had seen not, these before, so these were cool little finds. I'll put not, something in them in the I, future. I actually, I was kind of lucky because I did find a cool shirt. He found a cool shirt he liked, but you know what? This one's running long, so let's just while we're on it, let's just open some media mail real quick too. Well, well let's see what we get. <laughs> I was gonna save for another up. day, but you know, it's Literally here. It's came Don't in the other day. It. Litter, don't, my don't litter, kids. Out. Don't litter, kids. Oh, career opportunities. First time on Blue. Uh, oh, not the most popular movie. Seat. Frank Whaley, Dad, Jennifer Connelly, Dilla, was it some Dermot Mul Mulroney? Um, but good movie from the 90s. Uh, That's from the 90s. He ends up getting lose a job, guys to find a job, which he quits all of them. He's, a, he's basically an exaggerator. And he works at a Target, <laughs> and things happen. She stays overnight. They have fun in the Target, locked inside all by themselves. Dad, uh, I, I noticed a lot of YouTubers do that now on their own. <laughs> they just lock themselves in places. Oh, opening the candies. They're actually knives. Knives, knife yeah, candies. Yeah, they probably taste here. like crap. Let's just. Try they one. do not. Let's just try one. They're little knives. Yeah, just little sugar muffins. You know, there's a way to up charge candy. Put a horror paste. Daddy, paste I on dropped there. some, but I dropped <laughs> some. Anyways, so next time we'll go back out again. We'll review stuff. He can't remember half the time, so we're going to have to watch the movie again first before uh, we talk about it because this guy can't remember anything like Aliens. What's Aliens about? It's about an alien that kills people. It kills people, but what what's more important? Like, who else is in it besides. Like, uh, I'm trying to think. Are there any army men or space marines or? I'm going with space marines. Space marines, yeah, I like space marines. Anyways, it's like this guy. You're gonna need some uh, review again on the good classics. Till next time, again. Later, world. <laughs>